This is a quick PSA announcement. When I created this video, this I discovered this information. So my information in the video is just slightly outdated already, but it has been officially announced that the 7 Days to Die sponsored streamers will get this Alpha 16 update on Wednesday. I said that we were not positive, but it has been confirmed it is indeed Wednesday. The rest of the information in this video is solid, so stay tuned. Going to do a quick overview of the Alpha 16 update coming Wednesday to the streamers only. But that means it's coming soon to the rest of us in experimental form. So stay tuned. Check out the rest of the video. It is finally here. Hello fellow survivors, this is Cruxen, and I'm just going to jump on here and talk a little bit about Alpha 16 and what we currently know. I know we've all been waiting for this new uh, patch to come out for the game. We've been waiting for a long time, um, and it is not here yet. Many of us have expected it to already be here, uh, but we are still waiting on it. So here's a quick update on what we know about it and what we can can realistically expect and kind of give you kind of where things are at so far. Um, what we do know, uh, a lot of this comes from obviously Mad Moles videos, uh, some of the other admins videos, uh, people that work with the game or closely with the developers of the game, um, putting out information. And then of course, the Seven Days to Die forums. You know, that's where you get a lot of your, the big news. It's a great community. Highly suggest you jump on, get involved. Uh, a lot of people are really passionate about this game. So you get little tidbits of what's going on there and they kind of really give uh, the lowdown there of what's going on. They, they try to, you know, be a part of the community. Mad Mole, he posts all the time, responds to a lot of comments there. And he's, you know, main developer of the game. So definitely check it out. Get a lot of your information there. But where we are at right now for Alpha 16 is we are still waiting for it. Um, but they did let us know we can expect this pretty much any day now. Early June, any day now. We can expect this big, fantastic patch to roll out. Um, and what we know is that they are pushing uh, streamers, uh, select sponsored streamers. They're going to get the content early. They're going to start playing it earlier than us. Um, there was some backlash about this. I won't get into that too much. Um, but we can still expect these streamers to get the game at least a couple days or so earlier than us to kind of share where the game's at with us before it's actually released. So we kind of get a sneak preview of it. Uh, the streamers are getting it a little bit earlier, but that doesn't mean we are getting it later. So that's kind of a intro to the whole controversy and sums it all up. Um, but they did, it does sound like instead of getting it a week ahead of time, the streamers are probably only going to get it a day or two. But we are not going to get it any sooner. So all that's happening to us is we do not get to see this awesome content any sooner than they were hoping to show it to us. So I'll leave it at that. You could make your decision on if that was the right call or not. But uh, So we can expect the streamers to get the Alpha 16 preview and start previewing it to us, uh, but they have not gotten it yet. And once they get it, you could probably expect at least a day or two, maybe longer. I'm predicting probably just a couple days. Uh, they'll have the content, and they'll be sharing it with us, and we'll get a nice sneak preview of what's about to come. Um, and that's, that's pretty much where they're at. That hasn't been dropped yet. Uh, right now, obviously, content lo is locked, um, so they, they know what's going to be in it, pretty much. Um, and they're working on bug fixes. That's their priority. Um, and, you know, getting together the full release notes so we can really dive into what's released and then start exploring the game, which that's what it's going to be. It's going to be an exploration of the game. I'll get to that in a second. Um, so, but, so the actual date to be announced, early June, expect it any day now, any day now it's coming out. Um, but what is going to come out is going to be an experimental version. This is an alpha game. So often they're going to release an experimental version where you know that's released to the public and you know it starts putting stress tests on the game and really exploring uh, other bugs and, the, and they're making consistent changes tweaks to get it just right um, but it is experimental and you can expect experimental version of the game to be out for like one to two weeks before a stable version is out um, so realistically 
uh, <laughs> you're looking at a stable version release to be closer to the end of June, possibly. Um, so, but experimental is still going to be great to play. It's going to be the game. It's just going to be an experimental version. Um, but the game is going to have big changes. So I'm not going to get into that too much. I know there's a lot of videos out there that already preview this and summed it up pretty well. Um, and maybe I'll, I'll kind of explore it a little bit more, but I'm just, I'm gearing up to start a nice series when Alpha 16 comes out. That's where this channel is at. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about showing off the stuff right now that's kind of been exhausted because we've all been waiting for this for a long time. So those videos are out there. If you need help finding those, let me know. I know a couple of good ones. They put them together real nicely. Um, but overall, what we're looking at, some of the big stuff, uh, you know, sleeper zombies. So basically, sleepers are going to be inside the buildings. You're not going to be able to just clear around a building and then just loot the building. There's going to be hidden zombies kind of sleeping in them that you could potentially wake up or potentially not wake up and just kind of make your way around them. Uh, Blood Moon dynamic and sleep response are all going to, you know, change dynamically with the difficulty of the game, depending on you know, how far you are at in the game, your level and all that. So um, you're looking at, you know, more zombies during the Blood Moon and things like that. The game is dynamically going to change more to where you're at in the game. Um, and then also other player stealth improvements as well. You could sneak around without zombies seeing you as easily. And things like that. All that, all that is looking really cool. Um, and I'm just a side note. It's also helpful that they fix the night vision goggles. Uh, so that's going to really help for your nighttime sneaking around. It makes it phenomenal. You should see the footage of that. Um, but so, some other big changes: electricity. That's probably the the uh, iconic change of this of this L, uh, Alpha 16 patch. Uh, you're going to be able to craft generators, solar panels, use battery banks to power your electric devices. Uh, different, some of the traps that are coming out are going to be powered by electricity. Like, you know, they're going to chop them, burn them, blah, 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 blah. A lot of cool stuff. You know, turrets, you know, blade traps and things like that. Um, and you're going to have to actually run the wire from your generators, your solar panels, and, and connect your system of electricity to run these traps and run the alarms and run the generators and all these things. It's, it's a huge change to the game. It's going to be, you know, your mid to late game stuff, but a lot of people are really looking forward to this. This is a game changer and a lot of cool elements are going to come with this. Um, and then, you know, and then the tools that come with it. It's a whole new set of craftable items and things you could do in the game. Um, then, of course, they're adding new buildings and block stuff like your jail cell door. A lot of people have been asking for um, iron bars. You're going to be able to put them on the outside, center, and inside, have all those rotations. Um, outside corner stairs, you kind of get, you know, just... You know, better base building elements to kind of make your stairs look nicer. Uh, we've been missing that corner stair option, so we could, you know, add that in now. Um, unified block system, this is a big one. Um, they're allowing 24 rotations and texture alignments between blocks. This is going to make buildings look beautiful very easily. It's, it's going to do a lot visually for the game. Textures are just going to line up fantastically. No matter how you lay your blocks down, things are going to look unified and look beautiful for you um, and then along with as the painting tool uh, people have mixed feelings about this but mainly what this is adding to the game is that the developers can add very beautiful point of interest to the game buildings that you could find you know locations that you could explore this is this whole concept is really adding a lot to that and they're sharing that with the players uh, so that they could make their base look fantastic. So, you know, they could ha they could build their wall and they could make it look how they want. And there's other things that looks like they're doing with this, like washing machines, you know, things like that. It's just they're adding a lot of texture ability. Uh, the biggest downside that people are afraid of is that basically people are going to build wood bases and they're going to paint it to look metal or concrete, but it's going to be destroyed as easily as wood. Um, and I'm on board with that too. That's kind of silly sounding, but uh, I can't say for sure what their their final result of this is gonna be. Uh, but uh, either way, it's it's adding a lot of developer perks to the game. Um, but I just hope that the immersion side of it, the play side of it, is gonna align to a people would expect it to but either way it's it's a very cool tool and a lot of people are looking forward to it bulletproof glass very cool people are looking for that one a way that we could look out of our base without zombies just smashing through that's a good one rain gutters gonna make your pois look great uh 3d ladders uh that's that's 
Uh, it seems small, but that adds a lot, believe me. It's very cool instead of just a flat texture on the blocks. Um, some of your traps and weapons that are coming out, like we kind of said, spinning blade, your arrow trap, Molotov cocktail, compound bow. Uh, a lot of people have been looking forward to this one. This has been popular in some mods. Um, your auto turrets, we talked about electrified fences. I'm really excited about that one. See how those work. Uh, who wants to, who doesn't want to surround their base with electrified fence? Uh, more character options like beards and hairstyles and clothing and, you know, ways to customize your character. Uh, they're redoing some other of the, uh, some other art in the game to do with the animals. So they're replacing all the animals. So they're going to have a new skin for the bears. Uh, they're getting rid of the hornets and using a, a zombie vulture. Uh, they're adding snakes, adding wolves, adding dire wolves. Um, and all the animals are going to have uh, fur, like actual fur, make them look more realistic. Now they are replacing all the animals, uh, but it does look like the stag and the pig are most likely being delayed uh, for this one. But I expect those to be fairly quickly to come out. Because, uh, you know, we've seen some footage of, at least the, uh, some footage of them. And, uh, you know, uh, but they, at this point, they are delayed along with a couple other features. But minor stuff compared to what's being released. A lot of great stuff. Um, and then some game console improvements are coming out. Um, they're redoing some elements to the menus. So some of that stuff. Some of that might be delayed as well. Uh, not for further alphas, but... Uh, you know, just later on in Alpha 16. Uh, so once again, they're focusing on the gameplay and items, and then they they want to polish up the rest of the menus and things like that. Uh, another big one, new zombies. They're bringing back the fat Hawaiian shirt. If you haven't been playing this game for very long, it was a zombie in some of the older alphas, and it kind of disappeared, and they are bringing it back, and it looks phenomenal. It's going to hit hard, hit your bases hard. So people are looking for those new challenges along with uh, feral versions of all the zombies. Traditionally, it was just the one feral zombie you could come across. Now, all zombies potentially could have a feral form, especially if they eat uh, a gore block like animals or they eat another player body. They could go feral. That's what I've been hearing. Um, but either way, all the zombie forms are going to have a feral form, which means they're going to run at you even during the daylight. So watch out for them radioactive zombies have been confirmed it was looking like they might have been delayed but they are confirmed for alpha 16 which means that they heal over time they're going to glow green because obviously they're radioactive watch out for those hulk zombies uh, various uma zombies were converted to handmade they look beautiful they're going to run smoother uh, the game's going to run better because of it and they look phenomenal this is a great update i'm so excited for it uh, then world generation is the other big one uh, in an older alpha they allowed you to look farther on the terrain so you can see mountains and hills in the difference but all you in the distance but all you can see is mountains and hills now you can see those point of interest in the distance so you can go up to the top of a hill and you could look out and you could see that house in the distance or that city in the distance hey, and you know that's where I'm going next because you could see it now um, and it really adds a lot to the environment. Um, and then also Manmol has said that future Alpha, maybe Alpha 17, they hope to include more uh, terrain uh, items as well to that, that, that distant view, like trees and stuff like that. And that's just going to make the game look gorgeous no matter what. But just this, this update is going to be, be spectacular. Uh, so that's a big one. Um, and along with that, um, they're going to have kind of they're changing how cities kind of uh, uh, generate into the environment they're going to more organically flow with the environment so instead of just poof, flat land there's a city it creates all sorts of weird situations sometimes in the game it's going to kind of flow with the environment better um, also the layouts of the cities are going to seem more natural with different districts um, so, you know, they're going to have maybe an industrial, a commercial, residential zoning to them. So it's going to have a nice flow to the cities instead of kind of what it's been, just kind of block and kind of, you know, it's, it's just going to add a lot more dynamic elements to the cities being generated. Um, and then obviously along with all these updates with the paint and the city improvements and the new POIs, they're creating all sorts of completely new POIs. They're not just fixing things up. They're creating all new ones. I believe the skyscraper is part of that, um, along with 
a numerous, numerous other point of interest that really add a lot to exploring the environment that's generated for you. So that's kind of an overview of all of them. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to get into much how all this looks at this moment, just kind of a quick preview because, you know, it's kind of already been over exhausted because we have been waiting for this to be released. And within the last month, we kind of been expecting it to be any day now. A lot of people have kind of been putting on hold their gaming experience. And I say, get out there, play the game. Um, it's going to come when it comes. Don't don't hold back because you're afraid something's going to happen. Start a new game. Do something random. Do something new um, that you're not too worried about. Don't get too involved in a massive base, but just get out there and kill some zombies. Survive. Keep surviving. And it's going to drop any day now. Um, and it's going to be experimental, so even then, you're not going to be able to fully play it anyways, necessarily. So just get out there. Play. Have fun. Um, if I missed anything, let me know. If you have anything you would like to see in a video, let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I'm trying to plan how I'm going to do my Alpha 16 series. Um, it's going to be great. Um, and I hope you guys like it. I'm kind of going to try some new stuff with it. So uh, let me know. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know what you're looking forward to most in Alpha 16. And I hope to see you next time. Like I said, keep surviving. Check it. And I will see you guys next time.